If you open your WordPress website and suddenly see this critical error message on your screen, there are two possibilities that might have caused it. That is either probability one, it might be caused by some of your latest activities before the error appears, for example, installing plugin, changing theme, editing anything, updating anything, and so on. Or probability two, it might be due to your outdated theme or plugins, probably you have not logged in to your WP admin dashboard for so long and your theme or some of your plugins might have been outdated, causing this error. To identify the real root cause, you need to do some troubleshootings. Here's how to do it. Firstly, log in to your cPanel. Click on File Manager. Click on the folder of the domain or website that is having this problem now. If it's a main domain, click on this public underscore HTML folder. But if it's an add-on domain or a subdomain, you will see its respective folder like this. In this case, creatorelectric.com is an add-on domain in this hosting. Therefore, kindly click on its folder here. Find the wpconfig.php file. Right-hand click on it and click edit. You will see this pop up with this codings. Scroll down to the bottom. Find this command. Change the word false to true. Click save changes. Then open back your website and you will see this error log on your screen. From this error log, it says that the problematic plugin is actually this ultimate Elementor plugin. You should disable the plugin. Here's how to do it. Log in to your cPanel. Open this file manager. Click on the folder of the domain or website that is having this problem now, in this case, creatorelectric.com. Click on WP Content folder, Plugins folder, and find the problematic plugin from the list, in this case, Ultimate Elementor plugin. Right hand click on it and click Rename. Edit the folder's name to dash old, like this. And click Rename. You've just disabled the plugin, well done. Now, open back your website. If you can see your website contents back, that means the ultimate element to plugin is the real culprit. Just don't use that plugin again. However, if you still want to use it, make sure that you contact the plugin seller or developer first and get their advice regarding the error. Most of the time, they will recommend a workaround on how to avoid or fix the error. And finally, don't forget to go back to your wpconfig.php file just now and change the below command from true to false back. And click save changes so that the error log won't show up on your website anymore. All the best. Thanks for watching. If you need any assistance, kindly contact us at support at netkl.com.